an unstable nucleus decays by emitting beta plus particle. Okay, so for the last two MCQ question, right, it's always particle physics one. And I have to call this bonus question, but it's also a factual question. So if you know, you know, you don't know, then you just you can't really answer. So this is the kind of chapters that you may want to study, like, you know, the eve before the exam, so that the facts are fresh. Fresh facts in the brain. Fresh. Anyway, let's think about the beta decay. To create the beta decay, remember, I need to conserve the proton and the nuclear number. So this is 0, positive 1. So if I have a neutron, then the other side will be a proton. Then it looks balanced, right? Nah, the top part here, 1 is 1 plus 0. If you check out the bottom part here, 1 is 0 plus 1. Cool. So we're talking about a proton proton to a neutron. Wrong. Not neutron change to proton. It should be the other way around. Proton to neutron. Nucleon number not conserved, never. Nucleon number must always conserve. Okay, now you got this too. An empty neutrino is also emitted. Okay, how do we think about this again? Remember the pairing. We always must pair a particle with an antiparticle. So this beta plus is actually known as positron. Name also weird lel. Very weird name. Positively charged electron. Positron. What this? This is obviously an antiparticle. Uh, the evil twin of the electron. So antiparticle have to pair with another particle. So what could be the other particle you ask? So the other particle that I'm going to pair this with is the neutrino. This is the neutrino and this one is the particle. So we must pair an antiparticle and a particle. So it's not an anti-neutrino, it should be neutrino instead. This is one. So mass energy is conserved, it's always correct. Always. If mass energy not conserved, Einstein is wrong. If Einstein is wrong, a lot of things in the universe we got to change. Uh, okay? So the other reaction that you should know is the beta minus particle or the beta decay or the regular beta decay. So that one would be a neutron becoming a proton. This is just extra for you. And first thing you check first, balance or not. 1 is 1 plus 0 ons. 0 is 1 plus negative 1 ons. Okay, then you assign. This thing is an electron, which happens to be a particle. Oh, so the pair is who? Uh, is a anti-neutrino, big bar on top to show that this is the anti-particle. So this is an anti-neutrino which is an anti-particle. So the particle pairing is always one particle and one anti-particle. Okay, so that's how you can sort of like memorize. If you want to know the numbers, it's actually 0, 0, 0, 0. Mm. Proton number is 0, nucleon number is 0, because that thing ain't a proton. And it's also ain't a nucleon. So proton number 0, nucleon number 0. Not a proton, not a nucleon. Okay, so right now, um, these two, are pretty important reaction. They expect you to sort of like memorize and also know the properties about this. That's it for this question.